Hey guys, I've got a crazy theory about David Schwartz and Ripple XRP. Before I tell you my crazy theory, I'd like to ask you to take a moment to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you enjoy the content of this video. Crypto Mike. All right, guys, you all know David Schwartz of Ripple XRP. Okay, now here we go. I'm gonna tell you my crazy but true theory about David Schwartz and Ripple XRP. All right, now I'm telling you this because this is just kind of what I think. This is just came into my head. If it's true, I'm going to be patting myself on the back. If it's not, then hey, it's just one of a billion crazy theories out there. So no one's going to fucking, no one's going to get on me about it. It's no big deal because there's a million, trillion, billion, gazillion crazy theories out there about Ripple and XRP. So it's no big deal. All right, guys, here we go. David Schwartz, here's, here's, this is how it all started, guys. Here's, this is how it started. David Schwartz independently creates blockchain technology and patents it in 1988. Okay, here you go. Yeah, this is it right here. Patents assigned to David Schwartz Enterprises Incorporated. Okay, a multi-level distributed computer system for distributed processing preferably includes a plurality of personal computers. A task inputted to the system is divided into a plurality of portions. Okay, this is describing blockchain. As many of the portions as possible are distributed for processing on the lowest level. It's not exactly blockchain, but this is the beginning of what blockchain is. Okay, those portions unprocessed on the lowest level are distributed for processing on the next lowest level. Remaining unprocessed portions of the task. Okay, so this is the beginning of his, this. You can see his mindset. Okay, he filed it. Okay, it didn't. Okay, it didn't. The patent didn't. Uh, it didn't. Wasn't patented until 1991. But he did file it in 88. Okay, so now the next step of my theory. He was approached by the Rothschild. Okay, or one of their associates. Okay, the same year. All right, to build what is now known as Bitcoin. Okay. What does that mean, you guys? That's why this is crazy, but could be true. What does that mean? Well, obviously, that would mean David Schwartz is Satoshi Nakamoto. All right. Now, The Economist, Rothschild owned, okay, if you guys didn't know that, that this is that magazine, The Economist, predicts a one world currency, which in this case would be XRP in 2018. Okay, give or take, all right, because, you know, they probably don't didn't know exactly what year, but they probably went to the nearest year, uh, which was like around 2018. They were probably guessing it would be about 30 years from then, which is probably about right, you know. So this is the cover, The Economist, okay. Get ready for a world currency. There's the Phoenix, okay. 2018 right there. Now, I don't know exactly what this means. There's been a lot of speculation, but I don't think anyone really knows what that means. But they, they had the 2018, and it's a coin, okay? So I'm pretty sure this is Rothschild's own. Rothschild's own. Now, when, you, when you're talking about the Rothschilds, they know things. They, they, are, they control the world. You know that, right? You know that. They are very smart. They have, they own the world, basically. They do things in advance. They know things before they, it happens. If they weren't very smart, if they didn't know things before they happen, okay, they wouldn't they wouldn't be in charge of the world. Okay, so they have to be smart. Of course, they're smart. They're they're like a super intelligence, you guys. They they are more they're smarter than the average Joe, of course. Okay. So they do plan in advance. They knew about cryptocurrencies, guys, before way before they even happened. Okay, this is all connected, guys. This is a crazy theory, but this is how my mind works. If you can appreciate it, then good for you. It's good to be open-minded. Okay, you don't have to believe this, but try to just just watch it. See if you can connect some dots here. All right, now. Bitcoin was the test run, 
to see how the world would react to cryptocurrency. Okay, so we had Bitcoin five years later, Ripple came out with XRP. Actually, I think Rip XRP was created and introduced before Ripple, the company started. So Ripple XRP was put out before Ripple. Now, um, XRP, the faster, better, and more secure technology, which is true. Okay, I mean, the, the only objective one, the only opinion is right here is better because some people don't think it's better, but it is faster and it is more secure. Okay, was and is the intentional cryptocurrency to be used by the world. All right, now that's an opinion too. Okay, now they're using David Schwartz's selling XRP. This is my opinion, this is my crazy theory. They are using David Schwartz's selling XRP to trick everyday people like you and me into selling it, to selling our XRP. They know we're holding our XRP, waiting for that big boom. Now, why would he sell all his XRP? Look at, okay, why would he sell all his, okay, why would he sell it at 30 cents? Why, why, why? Okay, of course, because he's not confident. Now, come here, come here, come here. In Ripple's quarter one 19, 2019 report, the company posted 62 million. Okay, blah, 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 blah. David Schwartz also contributed to these growing sales. Schwartz started regularly selling his XRP holdings in April of 2017 and has continued at an increasing pace to the present day. His wallet currently holds 3.16 million XRP worth 923,000 at current prices since the beginning in 2019. Schwartz sold 2.8 million. Okay, that's that's about half of what he owns. Okay, um, so basically he just sold half of it in the last four months. Now it's about a de-risking thing that he has with his wife. Okay, now but he sold half of his XRP guys. Now most people think it's because he's not confident. Okay, now here's the twist. <laughs> this is the crazy part. You all thought the the first five things were crazy now here's the crazy part i don't think anyone on the internet has has come up with this yet this is where the crazy part comes in you guys okay some within the ripple community also voice concern that the sales represent a lack of confidence now that's what they want you to think and that's why people are selling okay now look at this trend line okay this is mine i i did this on trading view I put these trend lines here this is this is the five-year graph okay why would he sell look at this okay this is a two-year trend line that we've been riding on look at this the trend line it shot up okay 2017 now we're riding we broke out of this we broke out of this trend now who's to say in May it's not gonna shoot up again okay basically he was told by the Rothschild, the, the central bankers, the dirty ones, this is the crazy part, to sell. And this was the plan all along. He sold half of his holdings to fool us into selling ours because they don't want the average people like you and me getting rich off of XRP because the ones who are holding right now and who are con continuing to hold XRP are going to get stinking rich because it's gonna blast off you guys this is gonna blast off soon so hold on to xrp you guys look i don't disagree with this one this article look at this it it makes sense actually why wouldn't it happen again xrp is a unique cryptocurrency this whole theory that i just brought you along this whole thing okay the price will blast off in May, like it did in 2013 and 2017. Why wouldn't it happen again? And the bearable guy, and it all comes together, guys. Why wouldn't it happen? It could happen, guys. Hoddle, strong, XRP community. You never know. Okay, strange shit happens all the time. You just never know. All right, you guys. That's my crazy theory. Hope you like it. If you don't like it, don't thumbs down, okay, because I, I just put an effort on here on this. It's just a theory, okay? Don't hate me on it. All right, my checkout. 
Love you guys. See you guys out.